Hello. Hi everyone. Um, I want to try to tell you uh, today the first project of Parvus Bistro. Uh, it's, it's called Chomar and uh, it's developing since 2005. Uh, it, it, it's already um, old technologies for us, but uh, I guess uh, it, it looks to you uh, as new technology. The project Chomar uh, was started because of the uh, problems in system management uh, in, part of the, uh, in Linux distros. So uh, we tried to define basics of management. Uh, we, we think uh, these titles uh, are um, getting the basics of uh, a Linux distro management. So we try to find a centric solution for this. Current problems uh, are listed uh, here. Actually, um, in open source world, uh, there is a lot of choice to uh, use different uh, methods to uh, different pro to solve different problems. So, um, for one program, there is a lot of program to uh, manage it. Uh, for example, uh, there is a lot of uh, grub editor in open source area, but every uh, solution uh, takes its own solution and everybody tries to bring them to view. So uh, managing these tools uh, are getting hard because of the separated uh, development processes. Uh, we defined some problems. Um, first of all, each, uh, each library has different API and it is not easy to make a universal interface for some application. Uh, if you are developing a GUI, GUI application, uh, some um, bad developers, like I say, uh, are getting uh, the operational code into the GUI code. So when you try to uh, develop a clean version of this GUI, uh, you have to do the same things in GUI too. So if you make a mistake in somewhere else, you have to fix in other versions of it. So it is hard to track the code. Uh, the authentication problems are getting hard. Uh, each application comes with uh, own solution of authentication or they just use uh, super user app privileges. Uh, it is not possible to make atomic privileges. Uh, you, you just uh, give the control of all room or not, but you cannot give uh, the just open or uh, on off or the light for one person. And um, also, different apps can work on same data, so uh, the synchronization between these applications about this data is getting hard. In this figure, uh, you see two applications, XMY. It has two different GUI code, it has two different CLI code, and two uh, library to manage this app. Actually, uh, they are similar apps, but um, there is no centric solution for um, creating a management suites for this. Because of this, you have to write different GUI code for App X and different GUI code for App Y. Uh, same in GUI code. Uh, it makes uh, the solutions are big, uh, so it is hard to manage. We try to create the Chomar. Chomar is a common name, common uh, pet name in Turkish, uh, called Chomar. Uh, it's a configuration manager. Uh, it when you uh, when we developed uh, Chomar, we we tried to focus that 
all applications uh, can carry their uh, management tools, management libraries, but um, we can make a centric solution and uh, all GUIs on this, uh, on, for these applications can work over the centric solution. So you can do, you can do, do something like that. There is still two applications, two different applications. There is two library to uh, manage these applications, but uh, there is just one GUI or one CLI code because each uh, interface uses Chomar model. Uh, Chomar model is common, uh, com comes from the Chomar package, and um, uh, it is uh, it provides a unified API. And also, Chomar handles the authentication stuff. Uh, you just say the Chomar uh, start a service or stop a service or do something else with what you uh, give with it, Chomar script. I will explain uh, it with an example. Wait. It is a sample of Chomar model. Uh, it's just an XML file. Uh, for example, uh, there is an interface named Disk Manager, and there is a method get devices. Uh, it, it takes one argument as devices and its type. Uh, and get device method uh, is a get method, access level is get, and it does nothing uh, as argument. It returns an argument as directional uh, devices. You can define a lot of um, atomic operations in Choma models, and you can write a script that uh, matches the model. For example, uh, let you have two different bootloader applications, Grab and Lilo. Uh, they have similar management uh, types. Uh, they have just one uh, configuration file to edit. Uh, there is one library to manage grab file, grab conf file, and there is one library to manage Lilo file. There is two different Chomar script that fixes, uh, that matches the Chomar model, Chomar's boot manager model. And Chomar works over Dbus, and it is not a service. It's running as activation. Uh, technology of Divas. Uh, when you create a boot manager application, you just say Chomar uh, to use uh, which uh, script on this model. For example, you can say get entries to boot manager model on Chomar with using grab package. So uh, in case in uh, we stuff, yeah. there is uh, nothing to change for different applications. You can make um, a lot of applications that just uses the same model. And uh, the red circles are uh, in packages, in PC packages. Pardus package management is also uh, developed by Pardus. Uh, we call that uh, each package uh, has own secrets. So um, that matches the Choma model. So you can use each package uh, script from Chomar uh, by using the uh, model which provided by Chomar. Chomar provides uh, a lot of using uh, possibilities. Uh, for example, you can call Chomar over Dbus. Um, you can call a package named Mudur uh, with this model, this manager get devices, and it gets the same results. Same uh, operation, but uh, using Python. Uh, Chomar provides a Python library. You can use it uh, by importing Chomar. Uh, this is similar, and it returns the same uh, value over Dbus but it is very easy to uh, write it. And also, uh, there is a shell uh, possible option. 
uh, to use Jomar. Uh, it is same. Uh, you call the package name and you call the model and the method. Uh, it makes GUI application uh, development easy because you just uh, you, you have a unified API which provides uh, similar outputs for uh, different packages. So it is very easy to handle all GUI stuff with one application. Chomar provides authentication with Polkey. Um, for example, uh, user manager policy for uh, user manager model of Chomar. Uh, there is an option for adding user policy. Yeah. So uh, you can define automatically um, privileges for each user. Some user can add users, but some one others not. When you call uh, Chomar to do something, if it is requires to uh, authenticate your privileges, uh, it calls Polkit agent. You don't need to uh, do authentication stuff in your quick call. Uh, when it is required, uh, Chomar handles it. Uh, in this example also, uh, you see different thing. Uh, there is an OpenSSH package, and uh, some packages can provide a system service model. So uh, when you write a, a service package which uh, has daemon on it, for example, Apache, uh, MySQL, or something like that, you just uh, put a, a Python script which starts, stops, and reloads the uh, package. And uh, in PC file, you say that this is a daemon and uh, it provides an OpenSSI service. So when uh, using Chomar, you can say something like that, start, stop, or reload the service of this OpenSSH or Chomar. These privileges can be managed in user manager. User manager is also uh, a part of the project. Uh, it is also using Chomar in the background. Uh, this area shows that uh, there is different uh, policies for this user, and you can uh, manage this. You, you, you can give user uh, authentication or uh, deny, deny. Oops. Sorry. And Chomar also uh, has some great features too. Uh, Chomar is centric way, uh, and when you change something uh, from a GUI or CLI or a Plasma, uh, the other stuffs can uh, know the change, and Chomar notifies them. Uh, if you, I'll show later. If you stop a service from service manager GUI, you see Plasma update itself. Uh, and when you change something in CLI, you see other stuff update itself with Chomar technology. Chomar calls are asynchronous calls, uh, and synchronous calls is possible. Uh, and uh, when you build a uh, GUI or in interface, it makes you to uh, done. In the yeah, okay. It makes you do uh, done the synchronization issue uh, by Chomar. By using the uh, Chomar API and PC API, current state uh, of part of 2011, uh, as shown below. Um, 
There is Tromar API, which provides system services uh, model. This management module, uh, user management, bootloader management, firewall and package management. Package management uh, uses PC API too. PC is part of package management. Mm -hmm. uh, when you uh, create a user interface, which is based on KD or uh, just a Q application, it doesn't matter, or GTK application, uh, Chomar provides the Python module and deep or device mode. So you can uh, use with any type, uh, any kind of language. Uh, when authentication requires, it uses post, post KDE. Uh, some part state engines which uh, ship from uh, which which are shipped from uh, KDE are uh, using the Chomar API too. And some plasmids makes the same thing. So, uh, I I want to show a small demo. If you have questions, I can. Okay. And there is some part of 2000 DBs. Uh, you can see a plasmid here. Uh, it takes the system services from Choma, and you can stop or start a service. When you click, it says uh, we need an authentication uh, to change the service state. And it updates itself on the fly. But also, when I call uh, it from console and ask password it updates itself to because uh, it is over on Choma also you can call without request and then uh, Choma asks password it's already stopped as you can see Same option is here too. Here's open a search service. When I stop it here, Plasma it updates itself. Chomar pings the uh, other application, which listens the uh, service chains. It is possible to use same technology for each model. Uh, for example, if you start the service from here, you see the GUI update itself. Or you, if you stop the service from here, you see all of these updates itself on the here. With Chomar, we, um, we use it to, uh, Chomar, we provide some management tools that I want to show you. This is firewall management, and I manage it. Uh, it handles IP tables uh, by using Chomar model. Uh, this is boot manager that I told before. You can add it, etc. This is this manager, a simple UI for uh, etc. FS tab. Um, this is user manager. For example, uh, we are developing a different user management backend now uh, for LDAP. Uh, when we done it, uh, we don't need anything to change in GUI uh, layer. Uh, when we done it in Chomar layer, uh, GUI just calls add user method, method from Chomar. And uh, when it is available LDAP option, uh, Chomar will add user by using LDAP. So it is very easy to handle all this stuff by using a centric solution. Thank you for listening, by the way. If you have a question, 
Yeah, it says uh, if it is uh, there is an error, it says the error, uh, and it returns uh, as an exception. It's an exception or leave us uh, tells you back only if it receives uh, error directly when it uh, starts the service. I mean, what happens if uh, uh, it, it doesn't work and it uh, says it has started successfully, but in fact other users can't access the server anymore. Do you have a way to Specify some script of yours to test exactly if uh, the service works or not. So yeah, uh, you, you can find um, a script to test the service. Uh, each service, for example, of necessary service has own the uh, Jomar script. Uh, in its, there is a test method you can use, and so uh, you can check the service is working or not. Because it is changed by uh, applications. Some applications use PID fail file, but some someone is not. So you have to uh, make a um, global solution for it. And there's also part of DDDs. You can grab, uh, we have limited ones, by the way. No? Huh. This is Tromala and it, say it, it shows the exceptions for uh, service uh, errors in here. You can uh, use the file also to track the exceptions. Thanks for... Thank you, Dr.